All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is just a refresher on how to do partial sums addition. Remember, we know that you can add. We're just trying to prove that something is real by exploding this problem into all the different parts uh, and, and all the different place values that we're looking at. So first thing we want to do is we're going to do a quick magnitude estimate. Because I know this is about 280 here, and I know that this is about 40, I know that uh, generally it's going to be about 320. That's going to be the sum. So I know that when I'm done with my answer, my answer is going to be somewhere in the hundreds. So that's what we have to worry about right now is that when we're looking at that, I wrote it over here, that um, I'm going to make sure that it's in the hundreds when I'm done. So what I want to do is I'm going to rewrite this problem with all of my place values lined up. So we talk about the cardinal rule about adding and subtracting decimals is make sure that your uh, place values are lined up. And you can do that easily by using that decimal point to see uh, how to line up. That decimal point means it's the end of the whole numbers and the beginning of the partial numbers like tenths and hundredths, etc. So here's our problem, 276 and 54 hundredths plus 38 and five tenths. Now because there are no hundredths here, we can easily just put a zero here as a placeholder. And basically we're saying that there are no hundredths that we have to worry about. And here's your problem. So when we look at that problem, you have to understand that that's really five different place values and five different problems. We'll start here with the hundredths. We know that it's two hundredths plus, well, nothing. So the first thing we want to do is we want to write down that first problem, two hundred plus nothing, zero. Now we go to our tens. We know that we've got 70, because that 7 indicates 70. It's in the tens place, so it's 70 plus 3 tens, 30. Over here in the ones place, we've got 6 plus 8. And these are just plain old ones, so we just write 6 plus 8. Over here, we've got 5 tenths plus another 5 tenths. We've now crossed into decimals. See, they're no longer whole numbers, so we've not got to make sure to put that decimal place over there. That is 5 tenths plus another 5 tenths. And here, we're in the hundredths place now, even smaller than the tenths. We've got four hundredths, and we've got no hundredths over here, so we just write that this way. Four hundredths plus no hundredths. There, is our, there are five different problems that we have to solve now. So, we'll start... Again, by respecting our place value. 200 plus 0, well, that's 200. Make sure that you're going to place the 200 in the proper place value under the hundreds place. 70 plus 30, if you add those together, you get 100. So now we've got to make sure that that 1 is in the hundreds place, and we've got nothing here. We can add some zeros over here to just as placeholders saying that we've got nothing there. You notice it's really clean here. There are no messy numbers that we have to deal with. We're really only dealing with each place value. So after that place value, you really just are just dealing with a bunch of zeros after that. You can just fill in a bunch of place uh, zeros as placeholders. 6 plus 8, that's 14. So it's a 10 and a 4. And again, placeholders zeros there. We're not dealing with the, the tenths or the hundredths. Five tenths plus another five tenths? Well, that's ten tenths. Well, what is ten tenths really but one whole? Then we've got no uh, tenths and no hundredths. And then we've got the hundredths. Four hundredths plus no hundredths? Well, that's four hundredths. Now that we've got all of our uh, uh, all of our different place values all added up, now we can look at uh, we can add them all up together, and that'll be pretty easy. So this is just four hundredths. Over here, no hundredths. Four plus one, that's five. We've got one ten, and that's it. And we've got two plus one, that's two hundred plus one hundred, that equals three hundred. And then we get our answer, three hundred fifteen and four hundredths. Is that close to our original estimate of about 320? Yeah. Is it going to be in the hundreds? Yeah. So that's how you do it. Remember, all you have to do is think about every place value as a different problem. Write them all out first, then do all your addition. You'll get your answer every time.